Welcome. This video shows how to open a MP3 project, how to display scans, and how to draw regions of interest. First, let's open the project created in the video about the importation of data by selecting the folder containing the project. The database manager is filling up with the data of the project. To display a scan, just select it and click on Load. The first slice of the volume is displayed and one can navigate through the slices thanks to the slider above the image or with the scroll wheel of the mouse. The three buttons allow to change the orientation view from axial to sagittal or coronal. On the image, one can use basic MATLAB graphical tools like to change the color map, to zoom or to pan, and to change the contrast by right-clicking and dragging on the image. Thanks to the nature of the nifty file, MP3 can display up to four scans in the same referential, which can be chosen above the images. The four images adapt themselves to the referential scan, which implies to adapt their resolution and their field of view. Here, one can see that the T2 scan acquired a larger volume than the three other scans. When changing the referential, the field of view adapts itself, as well as the resolution, which is better in the T2 referential. One can change the contrast individually on each image or set the same contrast for all images by clicking and dragging the mouse wheel. MP3 can display 3, 4 or 5 dimensions images. Here, we loaded 1 3D and 3 4D scans. One navigates through the fourth dimension thanks to the dedicated sliders. In order to draw regions of interest on a slice, click on the ROI button, type its name and contour the zone of interest with the cursor. Once the contour is closed, the ROI file is saved. One can see its name in the volume of interest list and display it just as a scan. Basic statistics such as the mean and the standard deviation in the region of interest are available. Another way to draw regions of interest is to use an algorithm published by Wang to automatically detect the contours. Just draw an initial ellipsis and let the algorithm tune the contour. Repeat the operation on the concerned slices to create a volume. For this example, we decided to segment for each session a region of interest representing the tumor 
and another representing healthy tissue. Now that our two regions of interest are drawn for each session, one can display them on several scans, no matter their initial referential, and automatically compute a scatter plot and basic statistics that allow to analyze the differences between the tissues. Don't forget to regularly save your work by clicking on the save icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video to improve your MP3 utilization.